Hey guys, before I get started with today's video, I just want to really thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers. I'm not sure if you've seen it or not, but I made a post in the community tab, which I just recently unlocked. Please be sure to check here often because I'll be posting a lot of important stuff here. Also, for my 1,000 subscriber special, I will be doing a face reveal and Q&A, so if you guys want to ask me questions, click on the link in the pinned comment below to go to the community post to ask me questions. Thanks, and on to the video. Hello everybody, it's me Jones RMJ here. New Orleans is a popular summer destination for tourists due to the nearby beaches, warm weather, and jazz music. Unfortunately though, the old New Orleans Louis Armstrong airport was not very nice and didn't give a good first impression of the city. It was small, congested, and outdated. Thankfully though, a new airport was recently built here that is very nice and solves the problems most typical old US airports face. This is New Orleans' new $598 million airport. Before we begin, make sure you are subscribed with the notification bell on so you can stay up to date on the latest architectural projects and statistics. Plans for a new airport in the New Orleans area began in 1940, as evidence mounted that the older Shushan airport was too small. The airport was originally named Moisan Field after daredevil aviator John Moisan died in 1910 in an airplane crash on agricultural land where the airport is now located. When commercial service began at Moisan Field in 1946, the terminal was a large makeshift hangar-like building pictured here, which was a sharp contrast to other airports. A new, more typical terminal complex opened in 1959, which was much more like a typical airport terminal. In the 1970s, the airport was serviced by Brennan International, Continental Airlines, Delta Airlines, Eastern Airlines, National Airlines, Southern Airways, Texas International Airlines, and United Airlines. Japan Airlines also used New Orleans as a stop between Tokyo and Sao Paulo in Brazil. In July of 2001, the airport was renamed after Louis Armstrong to honor the 100th anniversary of Louis Armstrong's birth. As the 2010s were approaching, MSY was really starting to get outdated. The existing concourses were getting old, and people complained that the facilities were very dirty and outdated. Thankfully though, a new terminal was in the works. In 2015, plans were announced to build a brand new terminal in the northeast portion of the airport. The new terminal would feature two new concourses and a total of 30 gates. Construction began in 2016, but during construction, the scope of the project was expanded so the terminal could feature 35 gates. The new terminal opened in November of 2019. The new terminal was designed with departures and ticketing on level 3, security in the gates on level 2, and arrivals and baggage claim on level 1. This layout enables more efficiency for passengers passing through. The terminal also features a lot of windows to let in natural light. Here are some pictures of the new terminal. Overall, I think it looks pretty nice, and I like all the natural light that the windows let in. In conclusion, New Orleans is a popular summer getaway, and this new airport will give travelers a better experience when visiting the area. I think the new terminal is also pretty nice, and I like that it lets in a lot of natural light. Be sure to let me know what you think of New Orleans' new airport down in the comments below. Do you like it or dislike it, and why? Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.